Hi, it's Katrina. From the lost tomb of a tyrant to sounds of the past brought to life, here are 10 unbelievable archaeological discoveries from places you've never heard of. Number 10. The Ancient City of Myra The city of Myra was once a powerful port on the Mediterranean, but it was forgotten and lost in the 13th century until 2009, when it was discovered again in Turkey. It was here that a bishop named Nicholas made the city into a Christian capital in the ancient world. You might know him better as Saint Nicholas, aka Santa Claus. This ancient city goes back thousands of years, but nobody knows exactly when the city was first founded. The first mention of Myra appears in the 1st century BC as one of the cities of the Lycian League. However, historians believe it goes back at least an additional 400 years. Lycia was a region in modern Anatolia that had a great sway in ancient times. Lycia was also the first democratic union ever created and was home to many classical writers. For 800 years, it was a very important pilgrimage site in the Byzantine Empire, and they were known for their riches, art, and architecture which also made them very appealing to foreign invaders, such as the Persians, the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Romans. Rather than submit, they banded together and formed the Lycian League, one of the first democracies in the world. It had all the cities in Lycia vote for a representative, which would then vote at a yearly council. The largest cities, including Myra, got three votes. Nicholas became an important power player in the Roman Empire, converting the Greco-Roman temples into Christian ones. He was appointed Archbishop by Emperor Constantine, and he was known for his generosity and for performing miracles, such as saving a ship from sinking and bringing a drowned sailor back to life. However, over the years, the city was plagued by invasions and disease. There were Persian attacks, Muslim raids, plagues, earthquakes, and even flash floods. By the 11th century, Myra was completely abandoned. There is not much remaining today of the amazing architecture that made Myra great. The temple of the goddess Artemis, said to be the most impressive building in the entire region, is completely gone. Though there are some ruins still standing, like the granary built by Emperor Hadrian of Rome on a visit in 131 AD, which archaeologists have studied extensively. The city was eventually covered in 18 feet of mud from the rampaging nearby river. However, thanks to new technology, it is slowly reappearing as archaeologists have found an entire chapel almost perfectly preserved. Nearby, there is another building, and another. Now it looks like the original city might be largely intact underground, and archaeologists can probably find the city under the mud just how it was like in Pompeii. Number 9. Mini Pompeii Speaking of Pompeii, experts excavating an old building in the Italian city of Verona have discovered what they described as a miniature Pompeii. The building wasn't destroyed by a volcanic eruption or anything like that, but it is extremely well preserved, just like the famous city. The discovery was made in an old cinema that had been abandoned for the last two decades. While renovating the cinema, workers discovered frescoed walls underneath the modern structure that had been untouched for around 2,000 years. Archaeologists still aren't sure what kind of building the walls belong to, but it definitely dates back to the 2nd century. Judging by some structural damage, archaeologists were able to determine that the building had probably survived a vicious fire that caused its roof to collapse and then it was just kind of built over as the centuries went on. But miraculously, the colorful artwork was never damaged through any of it. There is still hope for more information to come to light as the huge site is still being excavated. No bodies have been found yet, but there is still a lot more work to go. Archaeologists are hopeful they will figure out what the mysterious structure was used for and why its walls were painted so brilliantly. Number 8. Lake Huron a team of researchers from the University of Texas have recently uncovered stone tool artifacts inside Lake Huron that date back 9,000 years. And to make the discovery even more shocking, many of the stone tools were crafted from obsidian, which came from a quarry over 2,000 miles away in central Oregon. As of right now, these pieces of obsidian are the oldest of their kind ever found in the continental United States. They suggest a complicated social network across North America dating back to 10,000 years ago. Whoever mined the obsidian must have traded it all the way to where a mysterious group of people were living in the Lake Huron area. Underwater archaeologists also discovered traces of a settlement at the bottom of the lake. It's believed that during the last years of the Ice Age, ancient social groups of caribou hunters had built some kind of primitive settlement here using stone walls, at a time when Lake Huron was dry as a bone. 
Today, these remains are 100 feet underwater. Number 7. A mysterious city. In Peru, experts have discovered a brand new pre-Hispanic archaeological site near the city of Cusco, never before explored by modern scientists. The archaeologists found the leftovers of stone walls built by the Inca, the ruins of a megalithic temple, and artifacts left behind by members of the relatively unknown Wadi culture. The site is called Espiritu Pampa, according to the Decentralized Culture Directorate of Cusco. This is the state body in charge of conserving precious artifacts in the area. Archaeologists also uncovered tooth fragments from animals, a silver chest plate that may have been worn by a fearless warrior, ceramic vessels, and mysterious silver needles. They even found a silver crown and other forgotten pieces of jewelry. The most important building is the temple itself, which archaeologists believe was used by the Wadi to perform rituals or as an astronomical observatory. But what's really strange is that traces of Inca culture were also found here, suggesting centuries after the Wadi had vanished, the Inca moved into their abandoned city as they expanded throughout Peru. But just who were the Wadi? They flourished between the years 600 and 1000, and they held dominance over a huge patch of land between the rainforest and the Andean highlands. They've even been referred to as the first great empire of ancient Peru. Their capital, Fuadi, was one of the first splendid cities in the entire world. But like a lot of old civilizations back then, centuries of persistent drought saw their numbers decline, and their civilization crumbled. Number 6. The Island of Havar Something strange was recently discovered on the Croatian island of Havar. Archaeologists found traces of an old Greek settlement dating to around the 4th century AD, back when the whole area was populated by Greeks, who had recently taken it back from the Romans. But the island actually has a history that stretches back much further. The island has been continually inhabited since Neolithic times, though the Greeks were the first to settle on the island back in 385 BC. The Roman Empire eventually seized control of the area in 219 BC, and 900 years later, when their power had seriously diminished in the region, Slavic people arrived and took control of the island. Basically, the island of Havar has had a long and brutal history. The recent archaeological dig took place in the gardens of a Croatian palace built here in the 17th century. Researchers were expecting to find artifacts related to the palace. What they found instead was an ancient necropolis filled with ceramic jars which themselves contained human remains. Researchers uncovered at least 20 graves in the necropolis and the skeletons of 32 people. They also found a piece of stone wall dating back about 1900 years. In typical Greek fashion, these tombs were flamboyant and exceptional. Many tombs were elaborate buildings with their own roofs and stone walls, with the most impressive skeletons being buried inside giant jars, almost like a human ship in a bottle, along with many, many grave goods. Number 5. King Herod's Tomb King Herod the Great ruled over Judea from between 37 BC to 4 BC and was known for his exceptional cruelty and tough rule as well as his impressive building projects, including the fortress of Masada. He killed his sons and his wife and loved to confiscate property from those who did not support him. He is also a very important figure in the Bible. One of King Herod's most infamous acts was to murder every male baby in Bethlehem to prevent a prophecy from coming to life, in which the Messiah was to be born. There is no historical record of this happening other than what was written in the Gospel of Matthew, and nobody knows if it really happened. The search for his tomb became every archaeologist's obsession. Nobody knew where it was. By the late 1800s, finding the tomb was like searching for the Ark of the Covenant. In 1838, the American scholar Edward Robinson found Herodium, a huge fortified palace built by King Herod. The palace was discovered buried underneath a massive volcano-shaped earthen mound, only about seven miles from Jerusalem. But throughout all the original excavations, nobody could find the actual resting place of the infamous king. It wasn't until 2007 that archaeologists finally unearthed a huge staircase leading down to a burial site. Within the burial site, they found a sarcophagus so lavishly decorated it must have been used for a king. The story made headlines around the world, with the London Daily saying, a new discovery may solve the mystery of the Bible's bloodiest tyrant. But according to National Geographic, the tomb had already been pillaged and destroyed, probably on purpose, by rebels. It is still up for debate on whether this was actually his real tomb, since there were no carvings or engravings mentioning his name. Others are still on the lookout. Number 4. Jiaha. 
The archaeological site of Jiahe in China has been the source of great interest recently as it contains evidence of some of the earliest people who ever lived in the Far East. Archaeologists have uncovered cultural and artistic remains such as advanced stone-cutting tools, kilns and pottery, unique housing structures, and musical flutes hollowed from bone. All the evidence points to a flourishing society that was shockingly advanced as far back as the Neolithic period. This site is unique among all ancient sites in the world. One of the main reasons is just how musical the old people of Jiahe were. Some archaeological sites in Europe have yielded a single musical instrument. Here, archaeologists have found 30 flutes, with six of them representing the earliest examples of usable musical instruments anywhere in the world. The flutes were crafted from the wing bones of exotic red-crowned cranes, with up to eight holes capable of producing a wide variety of unique sounds. The Met Museum reports that Chinese myths known from nearly 6,000 years after the flutes were made tell of the cosmological importance of music and the association of flute playing and cranes. Experts believe the flutes were probably used in rituals and ceremonies, and they probably sounded better than most high school recorder sessions. To make the musical accomplishments at Jiahu even more impressive, keep in mind these flutes were crafted around 9,000 years ago, roughly 4,500 years before the ancient Egyptians were even established as we know them. Number 3. Big Talbot Island Excavations on Big Talbot Island in Florida have revealed traces of what could be a forgotten Native American settlement built by an extinct tribe. Researchers working with the University of North Florida believe they've uncovered the old city of Cerebe, a place originally spoken of by French and Spanish explorers in the 1560s. Dedicated historians have known about this mysterious city for a long time, but nobody has ever been able to find it. That is, until now. The archaeological team discovered a range of interesting artifacts on the island, including those of indigenous and European origins. For those not familiar with Florida, Big Talbot Island is just off the coast of Jacksonville. But just who lived on this island? It would have been a group of Native Americans known as the Mokama. They lived here during the 16th century. The ceramics found by the archaeological team date back to this time, as do the remains of smashed Spanish pottery. Judging by just how big the excavation site is, researchers say the island was much more than a small settlement and was probably a major community, at least until Europeans arrived in 1562. Less than 150 years later, the Mokama were gone, and their settlements were lost to history. Number 2. Al Ula In northwestern Saudi Arabia, there is a region known as Al Ula. To the untrained eye, it looks like nothing but desert landscape, dry rocks, and mounds of dirt. But this is actually a place rich in archaeological treasures. Just recently, the remains of 11 humans and a dog were found buried inside a monumental tomb. The tomb itself dates back to 4,300 BC and was discovered thanks to satellite images and aerial photography. Because the region is so vast and inhospitable, one of the best ways for archaeologists to locate ancient sites is by using satellites and flyby missions. Over 6,000 years ago, this desert landscape was home to a village, and this village used the burial ground over a period of around 600 years. According to Melissa Kennedy, a professional researcher involved in the project, the tomb would have been clearly visible on the flat landscape as a large and prominent structure. But why exactly these people fled the desert, when they made their exodus, or if they simply died as their village turned to dust, nobody can say for sure. We don't even know what these ancient people were called. Number 1. Shimao The archaeological site of Shimao is one of the most mysterious in all of China. It was once a marvelous fortress city with six miles of high walls and a pyramid that stood 230 feet tall. Up until recently, nobody even knew this ancient city existed. For centuries, locals had just assumed the odd features were part of the nearby Great Wall. It wasn't until a few years ago that excavations got started and archaeologists realized they were dealing with a complex society that predates the oldest section of the Great Wall of China by 2,000 years. The people who lived and thrived in Shimao did so 4,300 years ago, at least five centuries before the Chinese civilization had even reached the Central Plains. But just who were these people and how is this possible? According to National Geographic, Shimao flourished for only 500 years, from between 2300 BC to 1800 BC. Then, for seemingly no reason, the city was abandoned and its people evaporated into thin air. 
There are absolutely no ancient texts to explain what happened here at the biggest Neolithic settlement in all of China, a place 25% larger than Central Park in New York City. Archaeologists have found proof of human sacrifice, painted murals, artifacts crafted out of jade, and much, much more. And yet nobody knows where these people came from or where they went. Just recently, archaeologists uncovered 70 relief sculptures etched into stone depicting serpents, monsters, and unbelievable beasts that nobody can even recognize. Still, there is no clue as to what happened to Shimao or its people. Thanks for watching! Which of these ancient sites would you like to visit? What's your favorite historical place? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time for more archaeological discoveries.